response differentiation, which is a result from differential reinforcement. So you will have a response class that is increased in frequency because of reinf differential reinforcement. Reinforcement, right? And you will have a response class that is put on extinction, the less desired behaviors that you don't really want to just, no, you don't want those. It's just, you know, we're going to put those over there. You know. The result of the behaviors you're looking for through differential reinforcement are increased in frequency. The other ones are decreased in frequency. Well, decreased in frequency for the ones still paying attention to the direction I'm going from left to right. Um, Which was backwards on camera, but whatever. What, well, you know. It's you all know, good. At least you're consistent. Yeah, right? <laughs> I'm being aware that I'm mixed, sending mixed signals. Most relationships don't aren't that sensitive. We're attempting so to differentially <laughs> reinforce this behavior. <laughs> <laughs> so the idea is a new response class. So the idea, let's take swimming, for example. You throw someone water and they're going to be flailing and drowning. That's not very productive. But any close approximation, differential reinforcement, you can get close to actually swimming. And once you reinforce certain frequencies of like moving your arms correctly and kicking correctly, then you're going to have those behaviors on a higher frequency and the other behaviors you don't want, like the choking and spitting and bobbing underwater, are going to be decreased from extinction. So that leaves you with a new response class like the breaststroke and the butterfly and the elementary backstroke and the side stroke and the front crawl and that my favorite to do the spiral, which is a blend of the front stroke and the backstroke. Pretty sweet. Just do it in a nice circle. Anyway, differential response 